Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Already I have posted the Redmi Note 10 smartphone unboxing and review and for charging and battery drain test related videos. Now in this video, let me share you here top 10 features of the Redmi Note 10 smartphone. So this Redmi Note 10 smartphone is runs on MIUI 12 UI based on Android 11 OS. So in this video, let me share you your top 10 plus features of this Redmi Note 10 smartphone. So let's start this video guys. Well guys, this Redmi Note 10 smartphone is actually comes with the Super AMOLED display. So the first feature we are going to see is the always on display. So to enable this feature, firstly let's go to the settings option and then there is an option always on display and lock screen so just tap on that and here is a always on display option so by default it will be in the off condition so just tap and enable this option and that's it after enabling so here is a some of the uh, templates like it has a some of the signature and wordings like that and here is a analog uh, different styles of analog clocks and then some of the digital clocks with the different designs and some of the background designs too also you can uh, set your own custom image also and it can be set in the always on display so it will be looks like this so during the always on display it actually shows your images and then the time your date and the battery percentage and the notification you received like these things you will get in the always on display now the next feature is the lighting effects in the during the notification incoming <laughs> to enable this feature just go to the settings option and then go to the always on display and here is the option when notification come on the screen so just tap on that now here is a some of the different styles by just tapping this one of the effects so whenever you get some of the notifications you will get like this lighting effects so this lighting effects will come at the sides of the phone so whenever you will receive the notifications <music> Now the next thing is that so in by default in the redmi note 10 smartphone whenever you are locking the smartphone and after pressing the lock screen you will get a some of the featured articles like a, so whenever you are clicking the lock screen you will get a some of the featured articles also you will get the some of the videos too by viewing this you may lost the, your mobile data actually it is called as a ma glance to turn off these features so firstly let's go to the settings option and there is a always on display and here is a lock screen under uh, option here is a glance of ma just tap on that and just click on that uh, switch off the turn on option so that's it now after you are uh, clicking the locked screen you will not show any featured articles or featured videos like that so you will get only notification screen only now the next feature is the how to on developer mode so to enable the developer mode so just go to the settings option and then go to the option about phone and here tap seven times this miui version so just tap this for seven times so by tapping seven times you will get the option uh, you are now developer so after you are getting that option you are now developer then go back to the settings and from the main settings menu so drop down and go to the additional settings uh, and you may have the option developer option so this is the developer option and here you will get uh, some of the hidden features so these are all the hidden features just go through that so it may be helpful in some of the ways in your daily activities so I have enabled a few settings in this uh, hidden option so I'll tell you that so this is the show tabs option so just by enabling this so whenever I am uh, pressing some of the option so it is actually point out that uh, so here uh, and the background you will see the round shape icon so that is the show tabs so whenever I am uh, pointing out something so it actually shows to the viewers that so I am pointing that uh, option only like that so it is good for a tutorial purpose like that and then so these are three option I will actually modified so one is a windows animation scale transition animation animation scale and animator duration scale so by actually by default it is actually comes to the animation scale with the 1x I have actually changed all these three options with the 0.5x by changing this option to the 0.5x so after changing this the, the smartphone will uh, act more faster than before so whenever you are pressing some of the option it actually goes back and if you are selecting something means so all the things happen so fastly so like that in the developer option you may have some of the very good hidden features also so, so you just go through whole features in this developer option and you may enable or disable based on your preferences 
now the next feature we are going to see is the new control style so by default so whenever uh, in the home screen whenever by swiping down you will get the notification at, uh, screen and then the quick settings at the top like that so after enabling the new control center style so the thing is will be totally changed so to enable this firstly go to the settings option and then go to the notification and control center and here is the option control center style so by default it is actually se selected with the old version now just select the new version so after selecting that just go to the home screen now here is it is actually a two in one option so here actually by swiping down from the home screen at the left side it is actually shows the all the notification you receive so this is the notification area and apart from that if you swipe down from the right side of the screen means in the home screen it here it shows the all the quick settings and after dropping down also so all the quick setting option will be shown here like uh, mobile data wi-fi connectivity bluetooth turning on uh, function flashlight and battery server screen recording dark mode feature and like that all the quick settings will be listed here so this is the one of the new control center style in case if you want to manage the, your notification means you have to swipe down from the left side of the screen and in case if you want to access some of the quick settings means you have to swipe down from the right side of the home screen so this is something unique and it is also categorized so it will give you a better experience for the users now the next feature we are going to see is blur app previews so whenever you are accessing the recent apps so in the recent apps uh, so you will get notified by the other users like uh, so what are the contents available in the recent apps like that so in case uh, nobody want to view the preview of the uh, preview of any app in the recent options means so you can uh, able to blur the app preview in the recent apps like for example i am going to blur the app preview in the for this chrome application so to do that so just go to the settings option and then go to the uh, home screen option and here is the option blur app reviews so just tap on that now actually camera and gmail application only enabled for the blur app reviews now i am going to enable the chrome application by enabling this chrome application so after that while tapping the recent option in the chrome application the chrome application is actually blurred so that is this feature so in the recent apps menu so this chrome application is actually blurred so like that in case if you want some other apps means you can do that so it is related to the privacy features and it will be helpful for more privacy concerns now the next feature we are going to see is the floating window by default this floating window is already enabled only so you can receive you can easily access this floating window feature so to access this feature firstly uh, go to the recent tabs and select any one of the app and uh, just long press that and here is the option floating window so the this third option is the floating window feature so just tap on this and after that this chrome app is actually minimized to the small thing so it is helpful for uh, using uh, two or more apps at the same time like that you can minimize this floating window app to the mini window so by just dragging this floating window to the corner of the smartphone and it is actually minimized to the mini window and again tapping that it is actually move uh, comes to back come back to the floating window and by swiping down in the floating window it actually goes to the full view screen and it will be helpful for some users like uh, in case if i am researching something and in case if you want to get take notes like that means so now I'm just minimize these apps and get, get the notes application now so i am just tapping on the notes application and in the recent tabs i am getting the notes in the uh, floating window and after that by back in the background actually chrome application is running and at the same time I, and i can able to get the notes also and also i can able to copy some of the content in the chrome application and I can also paste that in the notes so like that we can able to make a two in one process using this floating window so it will gives a better user experience so using this floating window option and also you can save the option and in case if you want to close the application means just press and hold and swipe up then the next feature we are going to see is the light mode feature to enable this just go to the settings 
and then go to the special features and here is the option light mode and it is actually uh, very uh, simple in view and it actually shows very bigger icons and larger text so it will be helpful for old persons for a uh, better accessibility so i'm just turning on this uh, light mode so after turning on as you seen here so all the icons goes bigger well the next feature we are going to see is the button and quick ball shortcut so to view and enable these shortcuts just go to the setting option and here go to the additional settings and here is the option button shortcuts and actually here is some of the more functions will be available like uh, close the current application and uh, turn off the screen turn on touch and here is more functions you can uh, set a unique shortcut for each functions like for example to turn off the screen so i can able to select these uh, four shortcuts these three shortcuts long press the back button so by selecting this so whenever i am uh, long pressing this back button the screen will be automatically turned off so this is the shortcut so like that you can able to select uh, you can able to prefer more shortcuts for these functions so totally it has a uh, eight functions so you can uh, give your different shortcuts for this eight function and it will be helpful for you in the daily usage so that will be give you a uh, good uh, user experience and similarly in addition to the button shortcuts it is also having a quick ball feature so by default it will be turned off just turn on this by enabling the quick ball features so at the sides here is the option quick ball so here also you can able to make some of the quick app shortcuts and go back to the main screen and then you can uh, switch on and you can enable the floating window and you can uh, open the recent apps so like that option you can able to select uh, and uh, in the additional settings by go to the quick ball option so you can select the shortcuts so like uh, whether uh, in the home button uh, menu lock and screenshot back so you can uh, use some other also some other quick settings or uh, some other uh, system settings also you can able to access and in case if you want to access a uh, particular application means you can also select that particular application also like i am selecting the chrome application now after that by tapping this quick ball so here is a chrome application by simply tap that so i can easily access the chrome application and in case if you want some other application like that also means you can easily select your own shortcuts or a own unique or, or your own preferred application and you can enable that feature so that you can able to easily access all the features on the go so this is all the button features also gesture option is also available to enable the gesture mode so in the home screen just hit uh, long press and then go to the settings option and tap on the more and then here is a system navigation so here by default uh, buttons will be selected so you can also select a gesture option so once you have selected gesture option so to go to the home screen you have to just to swipe up and to access recent apps swipe up and pause for some time it will go to the recent apps and in the gesture option you can able to easily switch over between the apps to switch over between the apps so just swipe up and go to the right or go to the left like that so for example i am just opening the home screen and then i am opening the messages like that so now i am just swiping up and go to the left now the chrome application will be opened and again swiping and go to the left and the messages app will be opened like that you can switch over between the two apps in between easily so it will give a very good experience in case if you are switching between the multiple apps like that means it will give you a very good experience so so the next feature we are going to see is the rise to wake up and double tap to screen uh, screen awake feature to enable this feature just go to the settings option and then here is the option uh, always on display and here is the rise to wake up feature and the double tap to wake or turn off the screen so by default it both the option will be turned off condition so just to enable this both option so by doing this whenever your phone is in in the off condition or in the phone screen is in the off condition so just double tap that the screen will be awaked and then you can simply put your password and you can easily unlock the smartphone also the rise to wake up feature will be easy so in case if your phone is in the table like that means so whenever you are taking the smartphone 
the screen will be awakened and after that you can easily unlock the smartphone easily so these are all the best supportive option to make the smartphone uh, locking and unlocking feature for a better experience well guys overall that's all about this video so these are all the top 10 features of this redmi note 10 smartphone so this is all my personal thoughts and in case if you are a user already using the redmi note 10 smartphone means and if you are having any other features apart from the features i have uh, featured in this video let me know in the comment section below now that's all about this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys